Welcome back Turtle Whisperers. In today's video we're going to be talking about what you need to do if you find a turtle in the UK. And this is, isn't just kind of for the UK, this can be kind of applicable to any country around the world. Find out in a second. So guys, what is the first thing you need to do if you find a random turtle? First thing, leave it be, okay? Don't touch the turtle. Next, you wanna kind of ring a turtle rescue expert or vet, because they can kind of help you identify what kind of turtle it is, yeah? And kind of guide you through the process. However, you can touch the turtle and move the turtle if there is an immediate danger to the turtle's life. This could be things such as a main road, or animals such as cats and dogs. If this happens, then can you tame the animal? You could do this by putting it in a cardboard box with a kind of damp towel in it or a dry towel in it, depending on the weather. Uh, but most likely you won't have that. So you could maybe, if, you, if you're driving along the road and you find a turtle, just put it in the boot of your car to move it or just move it with your hands. But just be safe while doing it, turtles can bite. So just be aware of the risks. But also, please be gentle, okay? The, the turtle is probably stressed, stressed if it's in immediate danger, so it goes a long way just being careful and not like throwing it around and flinging it about and moving it really fast or running with it. Don't do that. Just pick it up nice and calmly, move it to where it needs to be. Like I said, once you've spoken to kind of the rescuing the experts, they can explain the process and kind of advise you what you need to do, such as identifying the species, where to put the turtle, where to take it. If there is a major problem, turtle rescues can come and um, they can kind of collect the animal and take it back to their kind of sanctuary and provide the kind of right, right uh, habitat needs. If you've kind of found a turtle near a kind of local waterway, a pond, a lake, not really the sea unless you're in America with diamondbacks, but if you kind of find a turtle near water, it's probably fine. That's probably where it's from. Okay, so don't leave the turtle, don't touch it. Obviously, unless it's an immediate danger, just leave it be, that's its home. Leave it alone. On that note also, don't just take the turtle home because you fancy it as a pet. Okay, it's been brought up in the wilderness. That is a whole nother video and story, but always try and if you're getting a pet turtle, always try and get it from a captive bred like kind of environment or kind of foster one or adopt one from the turtle, re turtle rescue. As soon as you pick it up and take it home, it becomes your responsibility, which means you must provide for the turtle and become its caregiver. This kind of means you need to provide a habitat, food, all the right lighting, okay? And taking on an animal as a pet is well, not necessarily taking on as, a, on as a pet, but even just keeping it temporarily while you wait for a rescue or something like that. It can cost you a bit of money, and taking on a pet, like an animal is no easy feat, okay? So you need to know what you're in for. Also, getting into a turtle rescue can be a bit of a process, so just be prepared, and it all depends on location, and some are better than others. I'm actually good friends with the South Yorkshire Fish and Terrapin Rescue. I'll leave their link in the description below. Go check them out. They do some great work providing like the perfect environment for their turtles. Okay, they're very nice people and I'm sure they would be happy to answer any questions you may have. So um, just give them a bell or an email or something. But yeah, any, anything can help as well. Okay, they're all there. Uh, all their work's done on a volunteer basis, which is such a nice thing to do for these animals. I mean, without them, most of these animals would be getting, I'm afraid to say, euthanized. So they take in all these animals, they provide them with a second chance in life, and they do an absolutely great job at doing it. So go check them out. Also guys, I forgot to mention, they have a, um, they have a live camera where you can watch all their epic kind of turtle cams and ponds and tortoise garden and everything. So go check that out, okay, because that is quite incredible too. 
Right guys, that's kind of it for this kind of short video. I just wanted to kind of tell people the process you need to go through if you find a turtle and you're worried about it, okay? Obviously, if you find a turtle and it's injured, take it to the vet, okay? Don't just take them home as pets also. Um, always buy from captive bred kind of places, such as I bought these from Dudley at the Turtle Emporium, so go check him out as well in the UK. Or also, if you want in a turtle, adopt. Adopt one from a rescue, they will need homes, okay? So yeah, if you have any questions, please, please leave a comment in the video or any other video. I always try and answer them all. I always try and respond to you guys. Give us a like, subscribe if you haven't, okay? Helps us grow the channel. We're trying to grow the turtle hobby in the UK and everywhere else, because they're such amazing creatures. I mean, if you can get all their habitat needs correct and you provide them with all the right stuff, they just grow phenomenally. They have these amazing colors. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys.